And guys, this is a team that I'm going with. Zardes up front, Malcolm central attacking mid, Gonzalez on the right, Quentz on the left, Kirkin, and I decided to give Angban a go instead of Marquez, just to see how he is, you know. And I'm going to give St. Juice's debut, as well as Zardes and Malcolm, as previously said. And also, Ocho with the Mexican goal in goal. And guys, we start the match off by Ochoa saving our asses with that save, as you can see. And then they have the corner, they whip it in, and look at that. Once again, the hand of God from Ochoa. And I'm trying to, like, play out, you know, quick football, as that's my kind of playing style. I like to, like, quick passing and, you know, quick counter-attack and all that shit. And that's what I exactly do here. And Zardes puts their ball away over the post, obviously, but, yeah. And they, you know, carry on counter-attacking. And if you guys didn't see that tackle, that's... And world class tackle that one. I forgot who it was, but yeah, world class tackle. And once again, Ochoa saving our asses. Now here comes Pato! And big boy Pato misses it. Now, the former AC Milan striker. This is what happened, guys. Malcolm puts the through ball, a wonderful through ball, to Zardes. And Zardes bags his first goal for Granada, which is on his debut as well. So fair play to the guy. The USA international Zardes, the blonde the blonde haired tower as you can see. What a beast of a player as well. Like literally I just knew that he was gonna catch up to him and that through balls put forward. And he's like a better angle as well. Like what a player. Zardes is the man. After I score that goal I'm just like yeah I need to win this now. Like this is my first game. I gotta win this. If I lose this I'll just be disappointed guys. I'll just be disappointed. So just you know will it out. A home as well. Just let's not forget a home. And they get back to it. And Ochoa once again saving our bum holes being raped. And yeah as you can see he launches a contract then. But yeah that never worked. And will I get the ball back with this guy and and sh some shit happens, you know, we're just defending for our lives. And yeah, look at that ball, out from the back, and they get it back again. We literally can't even breathe. And as you can see, Malcolm gets the ball, gets it away to Zardes. Zardes plays it back, and guys, oh my god, I'm just like, okay, am I just going to counter like this bitch and just score score another goal? And this happens. Yeah. I, play a one I try to play a sweaty goal in that situation, and that came to haunt me again. And yeah, it goes. And another good ball from Angban as well. Like a wonderful Chavi, Chavi esque pass. And yeah, the other guy just looks at it like, oh, what? And never even did anything with the ball. So that was so bad for me. I just thought he was going to at least get a leg to it. But yeah, none of that shit happened. And I make a substitution, as you can see, three on, three off. And I was hoping that would change the game. But yeah, it did change the game. A penalty. A penalty soon after my freaking change, right? A penalty. For fuck's sake. Yeah, as you can see, it is a penalty because I literally just need the other guy. And Alex Pato with the penalty. Is he going to score? No. Uh, okay, yeah. And Ochoa couldn't save us that time. That was literally in my fault. And yeah, we're back at it again with 1-1. One, one. And we tried to play him, you know, quick football. Again, that's what I do. As you do. And tried to play out from the back with Tito with the cross. And the goalie saves it, and I'm just trying to do a counter attack, and that failed. Marcos was a shit pass, that's exactly why Almiron's gonna hopefully get signed. And yeah, Pato still has the ball, he plays it back, and someone else gets the ball, and he chips it in. Mario Gaspar with the ball plays it onto Pato, and this shit happens. At this point, I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck, like, again, really? Pato with two goals in what, a matter of a couple of minutes, I'd say. And I'm like, alright, definitely, I need to get back to this. And just pa passing around quickly, p trying to play out from the wing, so you know someone crosses it in, Zardes puts it in the net. But is that going to happen? Uh, yeah, that happened. Zardes puts it wide. As you can see, he's pissed off. So my, so is everyone else that everyone else that plays for Granada. And Ochoa comes out the goal, trying to bag himself a goal after saving our asses and realizing how shit our team is. And they get a throw in, and yeah, this happens. He just stands there like. Dude, just take the throw in, for fuck's sake. But no, he just stands there like, yeah. He just stands there like a twat, and yeah, this shit happens again. Like, really? 2-1. After that, guys, we do our training, as you can see. I'm trying to put some players in, trying to get the growth as quickly as possible. Because I like, do I really want to, like, waste time on some lonely players and all that crap. So just putting in our players, you know, fixing this shit. As you can see, I put Saint Juice on El Rondo, or yeah, El Rondo I believe. And yeah, we wait for the results. And am I gonna get an AAA? Uh, yeah, we get this. You know, we all know how our luck is. Losing in the first game of the season, getting shit results in the training as you do. And yeah, but the exciting part is this, guys. Miguel Armenio from Lanus has accepted this contract and we're just gonna sign him 
put him into the midfield, make shit even better. Fourth signing in this series, I believe, and he's going to take over Javi Marquez's role because, yeah, Marquez, did you see that pass? that he made in the dying ends of the game. And that's exactly why he's getting replaced by Almeria on Paraguay International plays his first game. And at this point, I was looking at the left back because that tab new guy's injured and I just realized this right back that we have, he's quite young and he's 71 rated and he's got decent dribbling stats of 78 and I just think that, oh, and I believe I just put him left back because yeah, he's much better than the other guy. And the other two primary left backs that we have, they're all like loaned in as well. So, and this guy's actually our player. So I'm just gonna play him over the loanies. So they, you know, he hopefully grows in the future and hopefully could become a better player I found Boga better than that Silva guy because Silva I thought he was the Arsenal player the the former Arsenal guy with really good pace and shit five star skills but it turns out it's a shit Silva like some other guy so I put him for Boga because I've used Boga before and he's he was actually decent the last time I used him and it turns out Almerian won't be able to make the first team in the next game against Las Palmas because he's going to be on international duty yep that's right international duty he's going to go go with paraguay and help them out and he's not going to have his debut for our club which is quite sad but i guess it's only one game and yeah and this is a quick scout report that i'm showing and yeah but that's it for this episode guys thanks for watching this episode if you have and leave a like if you've enjoyed it comment in the section if you if you want to see any other players before the transfer window closes and bearing in mind i've only got 900k left so if you've got any prospects for me to sign or like any of that shit then please comment in the comment section and i'll read through it obviously follow my twitter if you like football because i'm always tweeting shit about football but no one actually follows me on twitter that cares about football other than like some fake page so yeah i have no friends but but yeah that's it and see you guys in the next episode and peace out Your stats as you can see decent enough as you can see under 1 million 825k it says the deal looks like it could happen so you could literally offer that and it could get accepted After